Hi, my name is Faith, and today I want to show you how you can access data for a specific track from the 2020 Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics file, or DHC, using our mapping feature. The DHC provides demographic and housing characteristics data for a range of geographies found in the United States and Puerto Rico, age, sex, race, Hispanic or Latino origin, household type, family type, relationship to householder, group quarters population, housing occupancy, and housing tenure. Typically, a tract is not common knowledge, and one of the easiest ways to determine a given tract number is to use a map that lays them all out. I specifically need to find data on the different types of households for the tract or tracts that contain an area between North Street and Eastern Promenade in Portland, Maine. I can determine this using a map and get the data for all the tracks all by using data.census.gov. Let's go to the site so I can show you how to do this. Once I'm at data.census.gov, my first step is to go to the advanced search by clicking on the button beneath the search bar. I'm going to add the filters for what I already know I need. First, from the left, click on surveys, decennial census, and check the box next to the demographic and housing characteristics file. Then on the left again, click on topics, families and living arrangements, families and household characteristics, and check on the box next to household size and type. Despite having these filters selected, I'm not quite ready to hit the search button yet. I found that unless I know an area really well, I can get a little disoriented when I zoom in closely at the map. It can just get a little hard to tell where I am sometimes. So one of the ways around this is to add the geography that you do know to the map to help narrow things down a little. I know that the area of interest is in Portland, so I can add that to the search to help make this process for locating the area and the tracks easier. Click on geography, place, and main. Then click into the search bar above the list and type in Portland and check the box for Portland City, Maine. Now I can hit the search button in the lower right corner of the screen. What I get back is a list of tables, so it makes sense for me to go ahead and see if I can find the one that provides the data for the different types of households. I'm going to change the number of tables that I can see at once to 50 using the view button right above the list. As I scroll down the list, I can see that table P16, household type looks promising. Let's open it and take a look. It looks like this will work for what I need. So that's one thing sorted out. Now, I just need to figure out the track number that contain the area between North Street and Eastern Promenade. I need to get the map to do this. To get the map, I'm gonna click on the Maps tab above the table list. When the map loads, it should have Portland shaded in a light blue color. Zoom in to the southeast side of Portland as the area of North Street and Eastern Promenade is between the two bodies of water, Back Cove and Casico Bay. And there it is. This triangular area is what I'm interested in. So now, how can I find out what tract it's in? The easiest way to do this is to click on the boundaries button in the ribbon above the map. This allows you to add different boundaries to the map. Scroll down and check both boxes next to census tract. The tracks appear in the map in a red color. To close this panel, just click on the X in the corner. It looks like this area is completely contained within census tract one. Sometimes determining the tract isn't quite as easy as it is with the example, so I wanna show you a way to confirm the track. The best way to find this out is to use the identify button in the ribbon. Click on the button and then click on the tract. This gives me some geographic details about the tract. I can confirm that this area is in census tract one in Cumberland County. So now that I have this information, I just need to add this to my search. So I'm gonna first click on the exit identify tool button to close this out. Now go back over to the left and click on geography, census tract, 
Maine, Cumberland County, and check the box for the Census Tract 1, Cumberland County, Maine. Click on the X in the upper corner of the panel to close it and update the search. Click on the Tables tab at the top to get back to the table. Change the number of tables viewed at one time from 10 to 50. Scroll down and click on the Table P16 to view the data for both Portland and the track that we added. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to use the maps to aid in finding geography and data from the 2020 DHC. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resource page at the link below. Thank you.